This is a bit of an interesting black grass trial on the Claydon farm. We are on heavy Henslow Series 2 clay um, and uh, we do have black grass on the farm as, as you can clearly see from the patch to the left hand side. Uh, this was actually from some spring trials that we were running or some autumn trials uh, trying out various uh, techniques to get black grass growing and to control it including cover crops, straw harrowing and uh, many other methods. We left a patch in the field where we could actually see um, what came afterwards and we could also talk people through what we'd done in each patch uh, before um, or sorry after uh, the spring period when the uh, spring wheat was drilled. Um, you can see no matter what we we've done, we've had an awful lot of black grass grow afterwards and bearing in mind that this was sprayed off around four times, perhaps five times even uh, in the autumn and also in the spring with the last spring being in April, uh, left afterwards with nothing done to it, so a complete no disturbance I suppose you could say and you can really see just how much black grass we still have growing on this patch. Um, conversely, to the right hand side you can see where we drilled it with the clay drill in the spring um, so it's a bit of a game changer with the drill because you're always drilling into moisture so there's always more moisture in the unturned soil so we've got a very even establishment there is still some black grass in there I'm sure you can you can see a few little bits and pieces if you look down the line here um, there are a few bits of black grass in here but I think it really goes to show that um, having uh, the right disturbance in order to get a really strong crop is perhaps more important than trying to go low disturbance as the black grass will still grow and bearing in mind as I say this is even after spraying it off uh, in, in March, uh, sorry, in um, April and also spraying it off during the year uh, with the trials beforehand as well.